Hi there, so today we're going to be learning how to make this cobweb fascinator. And in making them, we'll be needing these items. You can pause so that you write them down. The Amazon and AliExpress links will be in the description below. Please do remember that our Super Mega Sales is ending in two days time on the 17th. So you can attend our 13 classes in the Ventcraft Academy for $32, 15,000 Naira instead of $73 or 34,000 Naira. Now back to our morning series on how to make this cobweb fascinator. Yes, I say it's our morning series because we got these pieces of material left over from making this gown. And now we're going to turn it to another fascinator, just like how we did for last week's video. If you watched it, yes, we got this fascinator. So stay tuned. Let's begin to learn. Keep watching and learning. Now I have here two hat wires that I've wrapped in the loop method. Now the first one is the size that enters into this molded fascinator base I molded with paper mats. And this second one is one, uh, one yard, that's 36 inches. I've wrapped the two of them. Then I have this little piece, this is 1.2 millimeters. And hat. This you have to measure to be um, the size that will join the big one to the small one equally on all sides. Now this was 2.2 inches and I've put my glue on it now to stick. Now this glue is not what I'm going to use permanently. So I'm going to be gluing three other sticks in the position that I would want, which you have seen right now. The next thing to do is the permanent attaching, which is with needle and thread. Now I'm going to be taking part of the bias while I'm sewing it so it attaches it firmly. Be sure that it's not just the bias that you are connecting together, that it's the hot wire wrapped with the bias that you're connecting together. So I'm going to be sewing both the top and the bottom of all the four hot wires. Now it's firm. I'm checking them to ensure it's firmly sewn together. And then I take my fascinator base, which I molded with paper mat, and I'm going to be putting it in. Now what you do first of all is find out where these corners are. Can you see where the joinings are? And I'm going to use my razor blade to cut out a little piece from that top part, the part that is going to bend. So I'm going to be doing it all the way around the four hot wires that were connected so that the small circular hot wire would enter and fit in. Okay, so that's what I'm doing all the way around. Keep watching and learning. fitted in properly now the next thing I'm going to do is take my oval gun and I'm going to start sticking it as I'm covering it up with the flap that is on top okay it took quite some while it was um, some work <laughs> but you get the hand of it just in case like me you didn't position it in the right place and you have to cut again in a different place don't worry the glue will stick it all well together so if you've gained value so far from this video Please do give me a thumbs up and move ahead to click the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified of my new upcoming videos. Now, I'm still going around sticking it with the pegs. Keep watching and learning. Alright, so some parts weren't um, um, glued well yet, so I just decided to leave the pegs there and attach my elastic band. Now, remember to check your elastic band because most times the, the, they sell different types of elastic bands, some are more elastic than the others. So if it's tight, you might not need to cut out like I normally do. Like this one, I didn't cut out two inches because it was just perfect for the work. So the next thing I did was to take my bias and I glued that bent part. In fact, most of that part because it got stained and I needed to cover up the stain. So I used the bias to cover. It covered up from the almost to the tip then below the bend if you understand what i mean the folding of the um, flap of the fascinator base so i'm going to be doing this all the way around now remember i love to use patterns i showed you in the last video when i was cutting out this pattern and remember after you cut the pattern you have to use your lighter to burn the edges i didn't finally use this big part but you get to see the part that I use finally to decorate. So now these are the small flowers that I cut off and I'm using it to cover the sewing at the edges. 
or is it the edges the join in sorry so this is how I joined I covered it both at the front part and the part where you have your fascinator base okay so the next thing I did was I took out this flower also was from the same Ankara material and I put glue on it Uhugum, and I'm gluing it to form a pattern on the fascinator base I also have this red lovely flower that I, I was just checking to see how it would come out looking unique you know and that's what you need to do creativity is our watch work so I'm doing the same to form a pattern on the um, cobweb fascinator because okay so before we see the various views on the cobweb fascinator we just made let us get to find the winners of our last week challenge last week where I showed you how to make this video now it is Chantala and Oinechi congratulations please okay I noticed there was an error sort of she got the first one but most people were not getting the second one now what I meant is avoid using candle glue electric glue gun as best as much as possible because what I noticed is when your fascinator stays out for long like probably two three days in the sun it loosens it melts it all up so what you do is you use uhu gun so congratulations once more there please do check the vend craft academy reception link in the description and request for your gift now these are the views of our cobweb fascinator and our game challenge or rather our challenge for today is what are the two hat wires that were used to make this open fascinator? One winner will be selected and you'll be attending fascinator class 3 for free in the event craft. So before you jump out of this channel, check this next video and do have a lovely day.